<laughs> Ross, you've got a little bit of a social media reputation for your good luck when it comes to yeah. vehicles in the fleet, but um, I, I'd love to hear from you in terms of innovation, technology, what are some of the things that are on your mind when it comes to getting the laundry from point A to point B? Yeah, I mean, we swapped out our vans for um, uh, Chrysler uh, uh, Pacifica plug-in hybrids. Um, so that will do 32 miles on the charge bef before switching over to gas. Um, and that took us from having ga oh, we used to have gas delivery um, daily to now we get gas once a week and um, it's usually less than a half a tank. Um, and we're averaging uh, probably about 100 and something miles a day in one van and then the second one does a little bit less. Um, and then camera, camera is very important, yes. <laughs> important in Los Angeles. So we have a camera system, but also has AI in it. So if it detects the driver is distracted, it will actually audible come over and say distracted driving. And then that emails uh, my management and myself what, what they were doing. Um, and obviously creates the video clip too, and then we can uh, route track, so that's been very important to be able to then work with our drivers on are you following our procedures of using our software that tells you the route you should be taking and, and, and being the most efficient. Hmm. So I don't want you to give away any secrets, but just give us a sense of, you know, those two vehicles out there, like, you know, how many stops, like in a day or a week, like, you know, give us a sense of, you know, what that mileage kind of equates to. Yeah, so our commercial route, it, we run commercial in the morning and residential in the evening. Our commercial route consists of, I wanna say 20 something stops and that's done with two drivers. Um, and then residential um, has been much slower for us in the last six months. So oh. we usually have two drivers two days a week and otherwise we're just running one driver. Um, for our residential at nighttime. Okay. Kelly, same question about delivery vehicles, fleet management, anything you want to share out about getting the laundry where it needs to go? Um, we currently have uh, vans in our fleet, and we also just purchased a box truck mm. for our commercial deliveries. Um, for us, we will take residential, but we are aiming towards commercial. Um, it works out to where we make less stops picking up commercial versus residential. Um, residential, you know, you can make close to 40 to 60 stops per day versus commercial. Um, if you have good, solid clients, you might pick up maybe 10 to 15 mm -hmm. per day. So it just lessens the wear and tear on your car, your payroll. It just increases your profit, profitability. Okay. Kathy? Yes. Um, so we have minivans and we have trackers on all of our vans. So every day we get reports of how their driving is, um, things like braking alerts, speeding alerts. We have looked into the cameras to watch for distracted driving as well. Um, we can also use those trackers to really see how long they're taking at each stop, how long they take to load and unload. And then we take all that information and put it into our metrics um, that we talk to the drivers about, about how to be more efficient. Um, a lot of our routes, we combine commercial and residential. Um, but again, if they are heavy on residential, then they'll do 30 to 40 stops a day. Um, if they're more commercial, it's probably more around 20. Good. Well, and, and this you know, reminds me of an opportunity to uh, just quickly mention insurance, because a lot of the innovations you're talking about are one way or another related to keeping this uh, all insurable. So again, with, with Jason here and Alex here this week, um, one of the things we run into a lot is uh, folks being uh, not fully insured or properly insured for the delivery part of this business. So it doesn't hurt just to ask the question. Those guys know it, chapter and verse. Just make sure that um, as you're taking these uh, different measures to try to reduce claims and, of course, efficiency and measuring your team. But you know, at the end of the day, insurance <laughs> is a big, big part of that. And I know you've all uh, been dealing with that. 